It is a brave face for Kenya as the country bids to meet the global target of reducing deaths of children below the age of five to less than 25 from the current 41 deaths per thousand live births by 2030. <laughs> Today, the country joined the rest of the globe to commemorate World Pneumonia Day in Embakasi constituency, where more than 10 organizations representing the interests of children joined forces as the global coalition against child pneumonia. In Kenya, a child is lost every hour. This is sad, but a lot of efforts have gone into this. The disease is a leading killer among under fives and accounts and still accounts for 15% of all deaths. While Kenya was listed among the 50 countries that were not likely to meet the under-5 mortality target by 2030, according to a 2021 WHO report, the country is said to be significantly off track to meet the standard development goals on ending preventable deaths of newborns and children under 5 if urgent action is not taken. And as a result of pneumonia, yesterday we lost an estimated uh, about 48 babies because of pneumonia. According to the Ministry of Health, the reason was attributed to several factors, including undernutrition, lack of safe drinking water and sanitation, indoor and outdoor air pollution, as well as inadequate access to health care. So if you look at under, our under-5 mortality, you find that these discrepancies, even within the country, there are certain places where we report higher deaths of children under 5. That is the bridge that we want to be able to cross. According to Dr. Patrick Amoth, high burden countries including the Lake Belt region and northern areas involving arid and semi-arid lands were put at a higher risk compared to counties in the Central and Rift Valley region. However, the ministry now says the country is on track by empowering community health promoters to educate communities on disease prevention and protection measures. We commend the government for adopting the Global Action Plan for Pneumonia and Diarrhea and for taking several measures that enhance pneumonia prevent protection, prevention and treatment. Meanwhile, the ministry has revealed that it has already laid down plans to sensitize the public on vaccination drives while educating mothers of newborns on a proper immunization schedule against the two common bacteria that cause pneumonia. We have the basic pediatric protocol, which gives guidelines for management of the key diseases that affect children, including pneumonia. So it's an easy algorithm, it's a pocketbook. As the country gears itself in the fight against pneumonia, county and national governments are working to increase full immunization to 90% from the current 80%. Get Bourguet, K24 Nairobi.